A new poll by Colby College in the Maine Senate race out a week before Election Day, and it calls the contest a statistical dead heat between Senator Susan Collins and Maine Speaker of the House, Sarah Gideon. Dustin Blitkowski has more on how close Collins and Gideon are and how third parties are a factor in this year's race. Gideon at 46.6%. Susan Collins, 43.4%, a 3.3% margin of error. That's how close the two major party candidates in Maine Senate race are in a new Colby College poll out six days to November 3rd. It could come down to three or 500 votes. Dan Shea, chair of Colby's government department, says that close a margin, a scenario where no one gets 50% of votes cast, means a race getting national attention could very well be decided by Maine's first in the nation ranked choice voting. If that happens, the second choice picks for voters who rank independents Lisa Savage and Max Lynn first may play a big role deciding who wins. And this year... About 7% of the respondents have said they would vote for one of the minor party candidates, 5% for Lisa Savage and 2% for Max Lynn. We're looking very closely at the voters for Lisa Savage. Shea says Savage herself is left of Gideon. There's a chance a number of her voters rank the Democrats second. However, our poll suggests a little over 50% will vote for Sarah Gideon and about 25% for Max Lynn and 25% for Susan Collins. Granted, that's a small sample size, and Savage herself is saying put her first, Gideon second. Because we also would really like to see the incumbent, Senator Collins, retired, and that's the best way to do it. Despite that, and Gideon's lead in this poll, the new data isn't necessarily all bad for Collins either. Ahead of a debate Wednesday night, slated to be just her and Gideon. If I were part of the Collins campaign and I opened this, I would be somewhat relieved. Three and a half points is surely within striking distance. In Portland, Dustin Lukowski, NECN.